Wait, one moment. So that's the rare, okay. Give it a minute. Good day, guys. This is Sheridan Island McGinnis speaking. A um, moment ago, my video was lagging, and I just now opened a booster pack. Before I continue any further, I'm letting you guys know this is a booster pack opening. I just got it not too long ago. I spent $160 on it. I take that back. I take that back. I didn't spend $160. I spent $140 on it. $20 less, and it just went $20 up. So, when I opened up this booster pack, this is what I got. We got a, uh, a burn spell, of course. I don't know the name. Sorry, guys. I haven't played that set, so I wouldn't know that name. But the rare... <laughs> Josiah. And this is a uh, the rare I pulled. You guys can't see. It's a rare, of course, but hey... Anyways, um, moving on, but if you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave a comment down below if you want more content like this. Hit the bell. And hit that bell, yes. Always hit that bell. Don't forget hitting that bell button. Come on. Oh, we got another rare. Uh, Miss, uh, Marjorie's Bond. Um, it is two white and for four. Or no, two white and four colorless, of course. Enchantment rare, uh, possibly from a commander set. When uh, Meritor's Bond or another non-land permanent you control in, is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a permanent that shares a card type with it. I would say put this in Gave, personally. Um, Gave's been one of my favorite commanders to play with. A lot of sacrificing, green, white, and black, and a heavy token generator. I would imagine putting this in there with possibly having Butcher of Malak Malakrith in there, and Grave Pact. Good combo with this, I can imagine. I can only imagine a good combo with that. And our common is... Serrated Arrows, four, and it's an artifact. Not that great. I mean, maybe for most players it'd be, it'd be good because I haven't played these kind of cards before, and this is my first time opening up something like this. So, we got ourselves an artifact. Ooh. Coiling Oracle. Nice card. Um, Simic, of course. Uh, really nice card. So let's see here. What do we got? Anything of value here? Oh, we got uh, Expedite. Everybody doesn't really care about it, but hey, still. Fun card to play, honestly. Giving your creature haste. I mean, if I remember right. Next, we've got... Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Got a little helper. Santa's a little helper. Right? You know Santa's on the helper? Okay, now... Our next card is a foil. Ooh, check out the foil here. We got one, one mono red. Uh, goblin Bushwhacker. Ooh, Goblin. I, I played Goblins before. It's really fun. Cranko. Ooh. Kicker. Um, it's a mono red one. Okay. Uh, goblin Bushwhacker, Creature Goblin Warrior. Uh, kicker, one red. You can do this as many times as you want, okay? Uh, pay one additional red as you cast it. One, okay? Uh, when Goblin Bushwhacker enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, creatures you control get plus one, plus zero to land a turn and gain haste. Fun card. Fun, fun card in a Cranko deck. Fun Cranko. Mean, but fun. Ooh, we got a rare legendary creature. Uh, we got here, uh, Fibble the Lost. Two, one blue, one colorless. Ward the Spark. I heard he was value. No, no. Mm -mm. You hurt yourself. <laughs> um, 
it's a legendary homunculus. Okay, guys. When uh, Thibault the Lost enters the battlefield, draw a card. If it entered from your library or it was cast from your library, draw two cards instead. Uh, when Fibble Spell, shuffle this card to its own library. Um, so yeah, you get this card, guys. If you like it, there we go. Again, guys, if you like content like this, please leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Hit that follow button. And that notification button to get more content like this down the road. Next. Oof. Oof. Defense of the Heart. Enchantment. Three colorless, one green. During your upkeep, if one of your opponents controls three or more creatures, sacrifice Defense of the Heart. Uh, search your library for up to two creature cards. Put those creatures into play. Shuffle library afterwards. I can see this card being played in Muldratha, Gave. I mean, heavy creatures, no less. Even for Garuk, no less. I mean, you could pull out a Hydra and go nuts with this. Alright, next uh, we got comments. Let's see here. What, do we have anything that we like? I'm, I got rares, so bear with me. Alright. Hey, Chris. Just got the bat the box today. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm happy actually. Thank you, Sire. We want that mana crypt. Yeah. My uncle has that. I bet he does. Who knows, I might actually pull a land from it, too. People have been known to pull lands from it. Oh, we got ourselves a foil rare. Um, Stigma Lasher. There you guys go. Check it out. Stigma Lasher. There we go. <coughs> Keep your guys self-quarantined. Come on, guys. Stay home. Yeah, don't get Wither. A form of 1 1 counters, alright. Uh, when uh, Stigma Lasher deals uh, damage to a player, that player can't gain life for the rest of the game. Ouch. I think you more. So far, Dave? Uh, yes, I did actually. Some really nice tea. Everybody knows about this one. <laughs> Oh, mana. Uh, oh, this is supposed to be one of the weirder cards. Um, it's supposed to be a blue spell, but instead becoming a white. Everybody knows this one. Uh, Close-up image of it. There you guys go. It states on the card, counter target spell unless his controller pays one. <laughs> Fun. There's more. Uncommons and commons. Um, I'll be sure to show people the commons and commons that I got. But not right now. I'm more into the rares. Pack number three. First foil. Ooh, going for a pretty penny on that one. An Izumi uh, short thing, and then uh, stab whisker the obvious. Um, you guys probably seen a lot of YouTube videos where this gets pulled. Fetches for a pretty penny, from what I understood. Release the Gremlins. 
fun car. Alright, next. Uh, Anamorphous. Uh, instant, a green or red. Um, it's a hybrid. Add two mana of any combination of colors your mana to your mana pool. Draw a card. Imagine that being more of a blue red spell, not blue gr or green red, I mean. As for the others, <gasps> Sphinx's tutelage. Here we go. We got Sphinx's tutelage. It's a fun card. Fun, fun card. Uh, regrowth. Titanic Edge, yeah, it's, uh, Destroy, yep, Titanic Edge, guys, uh, from one of the Commander sets, um, really fun card. I'm not expecting to get high valued in these, but hey. Let's see here. I'm looking for uh, conspiracy though. Conspiracy is fun. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you wish. Not right now. You can help me, but not right now. We're not opening these. Not with opening these. Because I don't know what's in here yet. Could end up pulling something crazy. Who knows? Sadly, I'm not live streaming. I wish I was live streaming this. But and I, I have the same, if you have the same one, can I keep on? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Foil. Oh, 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 Reaper King comes into play. Here we go. We got a, a Foil Legendary Scarecrow. Reaper King. Everybody knows about Reaper King. <gasps> oh, oh, okay, okay. Look at that, guys. We got ourselves a Mana Crypt, finally. Look at that. Whoa. I just pulled a mana crypt. <laughs> that is. Now you can battle. That is fun. That is fun. Fun, fun. Oh, oh. Okay, we got another valuable, slightly valued maybe. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Everybody, uh, here we go. We got ourselves a legendary uh, troll shaman. Thrawn, the last troll. Thrawn, the last troll can't be countered. Thrawn can't be target of spells or abilities. Your opponent's control. Tap to green and a colorless. Regenerate Thrawn. Really mean, really mean. All right, all right. We just pulled heavy valued card in this set. Oh, my lord. Aren't we anxious today? Come on. I just pulled a mana crimp, guys. Like a $200 card almost. All right. You're so happy. Oh, yes. I am so happy. Even a Reaper King, no less. I mean, come on. Where can we go wrong with that? We just pulled a Mana Crypt, guys. All right. All right. Next, we're going to pull a Foil. All right. Oh, Marrow Nar. Oh, I've been ne I've been needing this card to run a Black Rat deck. Rat deck. Here of the Rat. Hang on. We pulled out a foil rare. Mana Crypt, no less. I mean, come on. We can't go wrong with that. 
All right, look at that. We got uh, Eldrick e Evolution. Okay. We cannot go wrong with that. Okay. Uh, we got Mendeling Mage. Uh, Mendeling Mage comes into play. Name a non-land card. The name, the named card can't be played. I, I call Soul Ring. Just to piss people off. <laughs> Soul Ring. Come on, guys. Can we go wrong? We just pulled a mana crypt. How lucky are we, guys? So lucky. And not lucky for me. I can't believe I pulled a mana crypt. That's awesome, man. Check it out. <laughs> Almost 200 bucks. I just pretty much the whole box. Huh? Yes. Oh, God. I've been always wanting a mana crypt. All right, guys, on to the next pack. We just went through four packs, and on the maybe the third pack, we ended up pulling a mana crap. Uh, I gotta rewatch this video later. Ooh, is that mine? Ooh, thank you. All right, hey, first foil is oh, Trailblazer's boots. Equipped creature has non-basic land walk. Fuck you guys for having those. Uh, non-basic land, guys. Come on. Non-basic lands. <laughs> this card, I mean, creatures could, like, I could have a hide and say, hey, guys, can't be blocked because you have non-basic lands. Whop. I love that card. Love it. I'm going to be playing a lot. And here we got Trading Post. Really fun card. Really, really fun card. Ooh, ooh, okay. Dark Steel Garrison. Uh, artifact that it equips to a land to make it indestructible. Mmm, fun card. I'm going to be putting that on another card. And then we got Ash Barons. Basic land cycling. Searching for a basic land. Uh-oh. 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 Sorry, guys. Yes. My lord. Sorry, guys. Yes. Oof. My lord. Chisa, my lord. Um. Um. Can it hold? There we go. It can hold. Not for very long, though. Pulled a Reaper King. Pulled a Mana Crypt. People are going to say, put that in a sleeve. Come on. What are you thinking? Um, guys, I have the perfect fit sleeves. Right here. I will be putting it in a perfect fit sleeve here. See? See, guys? Watch. Watch. It's not that hard. I was going to wait until I open all the cards because they're going to be valuables. They say they're be valuables. Making a fool of myself here now. There are so many valuables. I can't believe I pulled a mana crit. Feel the lotus if I pull one. Holy shit, snacks. God forbid if I pull one. Can't believe I pulled a mana crit. Mana Crypt. What I really want to pull out of this box, hopefully if I can pull it out in time, actually not out of time, what am I talking about if this isn't out of time? Uh, if I pull it, is swords like the sword of feast of famine sort of uh truth and justice the whole the whole shebang of swords i mean you can't go wrong with that all right all right all right now we are getting somewhere 
Yeah, everybody, this is your friend, the Reaper King. Here we go, guys. I end up pulling a Reaper King. All right. Can't believe it paying for the whole box. I want to be making my deck even better. Mana Crypt is better. Mana Crypt. Guys, Mana Crypt. It'd be funny if I ended up pulling a foil, though. Oof. There we go. We got ourselves a, a uncommon Spring Jack Shepherd, guys. Spring Jack Shepherd. All right. Oh, -ho. not a very valuable card. Approach of the Second Sun. If you guys can play this this you don't have to have two of them but if you play it the second time you win the game yeah uh, there's some ruling on that I guess but I don't know the whole ruling but I hear that if you play it the second time in commander you win the game all right I think we're done done on that I know you guys know some really valuable uncommons and commons in this deck are these boxes but hey leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think like, I really want to know your stories. Like, uh, what kind of uh, card have you pulled that are uncommon? And com I want to know. <clears throat> Alright. No, crap, no. Those are commons. Why am I putting it in the uncommon pile? I'm a stupid person. That's why. Common. Uncommon. Flying Vigilance. Archangel. Ah, really dirt cheap card. Alright, guys. So far, we pulled almost the box's worth. Card I've been wanting! To make my deck even better! I'm running Meldrotha. I feel like Mana Crypt would be a really fun card to run in there. People will want to trade for my Mana Crypt. And I'm like, oh, hell no. <gasps> the rare Revenous Trap. Here we go, guys. We got Revenous Trap. It's a, it's a, a uh, it looks like a, sports. it's a trap. Instant trap. If an opponent has three or more cards in put into his or graveyard from anywhere this turn, you may pay zero rather than pay Revenerous Traps Mana Cost. Exile all cards from that player's graveyard. This will go good in my Muldrotha deck. Graveyard hate from everybody else, but not me. Alicia who smiles at death. Guys, check it out. We got, we got it. Uh, human Red eight. Legendary creature. Oof. Crystal shard. Hmm. All right. Let's see all the commons. Commons, guys. Commons. Do we have anything of value in the commons? Hmm. Someone says their deck is almost finished. Well, buddy, I'm about to work on my deck because I got some really nice cards to work with. Uh, somebody threw my messenger, guys. Somebody threw my messenger wants to play magic with me. I'll play magic when I'm ready. I just pulled a mana crit. I'm happy. I'm sorry, guys, if this video is lagging through this. You probably can hear what I'm saying. Oh, 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 Maison of Life's Web. I've heard about this card. Not that great. I mean, unless you want to give your opponents really good cards. I believe this is more of a huggable card for those that like, hey, dude, if you take care of that, I will give you something. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's read what it says. 
What am I talking about? Uh, when this card comes into play, uh, put a Divinity Counter on on it if you play it from your hand. Uh, this card is indestructible as long as it has a Divinity Counter. Remove a Divinity Counter from this card. Put any number of creature cards from your hand into play. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I take that back. Guys, I take it back. It's not a huggable card. It's not. It's like, hey guys, look at what I got. I'm about to win this game. Check it out. Okay, so that's going to get a, uh, a sleeve. Now we got um, Phyrexian Plague Lord. Carrier. Mm, talk about a... Uh, sorry guys, we can't really talk about it, but we got a Corona. Yeah, we got the Corona. Yeah, see, see, look at that, look at that, look at that. Mr. Corona over here, see, look at that. Yeah, he's saying, uh, I'm the reason why we end up playing, yeah. It, it's a Plague Lord. Come on guys, get the joke. If you don't get the joke, then get the help. Ha ha, laugh, laugh, laugh it off. Another one's tap ten or tap eight, you gain ten life. It's four. Yeah, really, really a spendy play there, unless you can uh, infinite out on tap, tap, on tap, tap kind of thing. And we got uh, dismal black water. Gain one life when it comes into play tapped. So one land out of that whole pack. How sad. How sad is that? All commons right here. Uncommon. Alright, this guy over here get, deserves a sleeve. A card I've been wanting to put there in a, in a tracks with God. I want to say. No, Drotha. I don't know why Moldrotha comes into mind with that card, but hey guys, we're only like halfway through the pack, guys. Look at what how many packs I've got left. We're barely pulling through it. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, and we just pulled a mana crypt. All right, guys, we just pulled a mana crypt, guys. Be happy. You gonna celebrate? We're gonna celebrate. All right. All right. All right. All right. Calm down. Calm down, Kush. Calm down, Kush. Mr. Kush? What kind of week today? I don't know yet. I really don't. Alright, guys. The foil today is... Oof. What do we got here? We got a Rakdos. Hmm. Uh, Kruloth Knight. Um, creatures your opponents control with counters on them can't attack or block. Interesting. Interesting. I like your taste, sir. Now for the rare. Sorcery. Uh, cultivate Brutality. Uh, escalate. Ooh, discard a card. Hmm. Pay this cost for each mode chosen from beyond the first. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You may choose an instant or sorcerer card from it. That player discards that. She gets minus two minus target opponent two life and you gain two life. Fun, rare, but I mean, not that great. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna put this over here. I am not getting rid of that mana crypt, guys. You can kiss my ass. You may as well steal it from me. Oh, we dropped a card. Uh, metallic. Yeah, eh, not that really valuable. Probably a penny. Who knows? All right, guys, we don't, we haven't pulled a planeswalker. We just pulled a valuable card. Oh. Oh. No, never mind. It's a it's a mana ramp um, artifact that uh, when it dies, it puts out three colorless. Mana Crypt. We need a foil Mana Crypt, guys. We want a foil. That's where I use that. 
Is that 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 foil? All right, guys. It it it's, is it color theme scheme. Sorry, guys, I had a burp. Um, no, like, bandit can't be blocked except by creatures with defender. So, if you want to get past those creatures, this is the way you want to go. Except when they have defender, they're screwed. Rare. Ooh, what's a rare? Cauldron of Souls. Artifact for five. Choose any number of target creatures. Each of those creatures gains... Uh, parasite until in a turn. I know who to give that to. Who needs it? He runs a lot of neg one, neg one counters. <gasps> ooh, ooh, carpet of flowers. Ooh, okay. People tell me that's a valued card. Um, during your main phase, uh, you may add up to X mana, uh, one color to your mana pool, where X is the number of islands. Target opponent controls, yes! Okay. So, um, Carpet of Flowers, you're going into a sleeve, buddy. We're gonna add the value of these cards here in a bit, guys. I gotta see how much I pulled. Uh, I already put, like, cards into, um, perfect fit sleeves already. Here we go, we got ourselves another uncommon, uh... Milliken. Uh, artifact Construct. Uh, put the top card of your library into the graveyard. Add one colorless to my mana pool. For two. Hmm. Alright. Alright, alright. Now we got all those commons. We got all the uncommons over here. We want all the commons over here. We want all the uncommons over there. We'll go through them later. Next! I heard that was a valuable card, by the way. I'm not sure. Carpet of Flowers, guys. Tell me what you guys think. I really want to know. This is a long video, guys. Long video. Alright, so. Here we go. We got our foil right here. Ooh, ooh. Rune Tail. Okay, um, this may not be valued, but I'm going to put it in the sleep because I'm going to be using it. Uh, we got uh, Teron Muller. Uh, it's a really hefty beast there, guys. It's a Changeling Shapeshifter. It's from a Commander set. Oh, we got a Mythical Rare. Angelic Destiny, guys. Mm, really fun card. And we got ourselves a Gruel Signet for the uh, uh, common. All right. I'm not dealing with the uncommons and commons unless I get to it. Um, so bear with me, guys. Bear with me. I got a lot of commons right here, guys. These are all the commons that I'm pulling. Believe it or not, it's a really big stack here, guys. So check it out, guys. This is all the commons. Now. Some of those may be of value. I don't know yet. I'm about to find out. Guys, if you want me to do more videos like this in the near future, guys, leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Come on. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and hit that little button. Oh, right. I forgot to show you. These are all the comments right here. All Just because I'm touching my face doesn't mean I have that BS going around. Yeah, come on, guys. No BS. Oh, don't know why I did that. Alright, next. We're going to open up. Another booster box. No, not another booster box. What am I talking about? Another booster pack. Come on, guys. What am I doing? Foil of the day. What is this? Soke, son of Shiro. 
Sorry, five other uh, snakes you control get a plus one plus zero whenever a warrior comes in. Whenever a warrior d you control deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature at end of combat. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I would hate to go against something that has uh, indestructible because you won't be able to kill it. Oh, okay. Uh, green belt rampager, guys. I don't know how, how much that goes for. I think it's pretty penny there. Alright, alright. So that's our rare. Next, we got a rare? No? Oh yeah, we do! Enchantment. Oh god, Rage of Reflection. Creatures you control have double strike. Oof. And a land. Um. Oh, what? What? It's a search land. <laughs> How nice. A fetch land. All right, we got ourselves a fetch land. Tapping for two. All right. That's nice, nice, nice. Fetch for a pretty penny, I suppose. We don't know what's in this that could be really expensive. Never know, guys. Never know. If I end up pulling a, uh, a really expensive dual land, who knows? Shock lands, guys. Shock lands. We don't know if we're going to pull a shock land. People say, you'll never pull a shock land. I don't think they put shock lands in those. Dude, a mystery booster pack. Come on, guys. You never know. It's a mystery. What did uh, uh, Forrest Gump point? Lives like a... What you're going to get inside. All right. We got our next rare. Oh, we got another Majeure. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, we got a legendary. Oh. Aminair of Soul of Elements. Ooh. Guys, check it out. We got a Mythic. M25. That's going into a sleeve. And time save. Artifact. Uh, sacrifice five artifacts. Take an extra turn after this one. Easier said than done. Jeez. Oof. Alright. Ooh. Okay. So we got our Great Refuge. A dual land for white and a green and also gives you one life. All that life gain, guys. Come on. There's quite a bit of life gain in this set. My box is all paid for now. I mean, mana crit, guys. Can't stop talking about that mana crit. That mana crit is amazing. All right, guys. All right, all right. Let's do this one more time. We got a dog in the background. Okay. What do we get? Mimia School of Water's Edge. Oof. A legendary land. Ooh. Okay. Uh, put that in the sleeve. Sword of Aminist. All right. We got another, we got a sword finally. We gotta put that in the sleeve. Uh, Karen Wanderer. Changeling. Not that. Uh, half these cards I'm not really interested in, but they do pay for the box. Alright, so we got the commons there, we got the uncommon there. Uh, we got ourselves a curse of opulence, whatever you want to call it. Mm, a curse. I said, I'm going to curse you. Shut up, Jimmy. <gasps> Essence Warden! Yay! We need that. Well, I do anyway. Don't know about you guys, but I need it. I need it, yeah. I need it. Alright, we just practically pay for this box, guys. I'm so happy. Oh boy. Metacrypt, guys. I can't stop talking about it. I need to calm down. Mr. Cushion, calm down, sir. You need to calm down. Okay, what do we got here? Helix, uh... Pentacle. Enchantment Shroud. Yeah, that's going to get a sleeve. 
Dahlia's uh, Lancers. Mm, rare. Oh, boy. Anna Sanctuary. Okay. Um, that's going to get a sleeve. All right. All right. Uh, common, uncommon, uncommon. That all over there. What is your guys' story? What was the most valuable card you guys ever pulled out of this set besides Mana Crypt? What is the most valuable card? Tell me your guys' story. I want to hear it. All right. Next. We'll open up the get. What do we get? What do we get? All right. Hello, Paula. Two mana. Flying. Untap. What? Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Okay, well that's interesting. That's a very interesting card. Untapping it. Oh! 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 Teferi's Protection! Look at that! That's going for 50 bucks! Look at that! Oh yeah! Gonna put that on a sleeve. Oh! Nilly! Alright! Uh, ancient Ziggart, there we go, we got Ancient Ziggart, yeah, there we go. That's gonna go for a pretty penny there. Oh, god damn, I was not expecting that. Come to daddy, Jesus. Alright, alright, now we're getting somewhere. Mr. Got the corner. Mr. Got the Corner. Okay, guys, we just got, we, we just hit high value. Not only did we pull a Mana Crypt, we pulled Teferi's Protection. We're getting somewhere. Oh my god. The box has paid for itself. It spoke to me the other day saying, Sheridan, Sheridan, get me. I want you to buy me. I know you want that mana crypt and we'll give it to you. Just 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 go buy me. Hey, I wasn't expecting to get a Teferi's protection on top of that though. Foil, guys. Foil oh man. Um Kawi Gama. Sorry if I butchered that. But no. Uh Shizu Death Storehouse. Oof. Okay, guys. I'm gonna be that's the card I've been wanting to get. Living Death! Look at that guys. Living Death is an amazing card. All right, all right. Bloom Tender. For each color among permanents you control, add one mana of that color to your mana pool. Mana Ramp, I'm gonna put that probably in a sleeve. All right, all right. That is amazing, we're getting somewhere. Billy old hopscotch here. Hey, Billy, give me something to work with. I make sure I pay you back. Billy dearest, if you're listening. No, <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> God dang it, Bobby. You're giving me a heart attack. I didn't realize how much value there was here. Okay. For the foil. Ooh, look at the foil there. Another Shizuru. Uh, Beacon of Immortality. We got that coming. I love uh, magpipe. Uncommon. Whenever magpipe does combat damage to one of your opponents, you draw a card. I know who to give that to. It's a friend, and that's a uh, uncommon. And the common is an Eldrazi. Oh, damn! Come on! How lucky do I have to be for that? How lucky do I have to be for a mana crypt, guys? Not only that, a Teferi's Protection to pay for the whole box. 
Okay. Uncommon. 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 And common. Guys! We're almost down to the fewer packs. We got four packs. Four of them. We got three packs left now. All right, guys, let's do this. We got a foil, uncommon, a uh, Gilder Barn, Baron or whatever, an untapping creature. I don't know much about those. It's weird. We, oh my God, expedite! Oh my God, we just pulled an expensive card, did we not? Did we not? It's a mythic rare, guys. Come on. That is going in a sleeve. Oh my god. Down, Jimmy, calm down. Nothing exciting to us, but exciting to you. We just calm down, old friend. Old friend needs to calm down. Yeah, I need to calm down. I need to calm down. This goes over here for the land. Uncommon. Oh my god. Guys, we just paid for the box itself. Little old Jimmy paid for the box itself. L l let's take a look at that again, guys. Let's take that a look at again. Here we go. Expedite. Oh my god, it's an expensive card. From what I hear, it's expensive. Like 70 bucks. Oh. Celestial. Uh, Kirin. Uh, we got a little uh, legendary spirit dragon here. Uh, no, just spirit, actually. Uh, put that in a pretty sleeve. Corsor Crufix. There we go. Uh, it's an enchantment creature. Whenever your land enters the battlefield, you gain one life. Aura of Shards. Oh, boy. That's our uncommon. We're going to put that in a sleeve. And Thought Vessel being for two mana. Adding one colorless. Alright. Alright. That way, put over there. Put this this way. Put 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 this way. All over here. Rest over there. Alright, we're down to two packs, guys. We're gonna have fun with this. Watch. See me switching them. See me switching them. All right. See me switching them. See me doing this, guys. Let's 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 do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. This one is one we're going with. What a surprise lies in the last pack, guys? We just pulled some valuable cards. Oh my. God! Alright, alright, alright. Calm down. Calm down. Foil. Alright. Oh, rocks. Okay. Rocks. Yeah. Alright. Check. God damn it. No, no. Yes, my lord. There we go. Yes, my lord. Caged Sun enters the battlefield. Choose a color, creatures you control, all of the chosen color get a plus one, plus one. Whenever lands abilities causes you to add one or more mana to the of the chosen color, add one additional mana of that color for six. Alright, alright. I heard that would actually go nuts with uh, Ancient Bloom Nyx. And we got Dungrove Elder for the next rare. M12. Guys, I love this box already. Alright, alright. We're getting somewhere, guys. We're getting somewhere. Trail of Evidence. And a War. I love the jellyfish. 
We put a Gary, guys. We got our... The Heroes Beyond Death made a new Gary. All right, guys. It's Gray Merchant. Astro Fordell. All right, guys, guys. Next, drum roll, please. And here we go. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Drum roll, drum roll. What are your thoughts on what I could possibly pull from the last pack? What do you guys want to see? What do you guys want to see? For the foil, we have... I'll give you guys a few moments there. Comment. Going once. Going twice. And that's enough. Hopefully you're done. And our foil is... Ooh, we got another one of those uh, legendary lands. All right, uh, Mimi School of Waters Edge or at School of Water Schools. Oh, what do you, what do you want this rare to be? Comment down below. Color, mana cost. You guys name it. All right, you guys name it. What color? What mana cost? Come on, wild guesses. I want to see if you guys can get this. The winner, I am going to give a shout out to. All right, the winner gets this as a shout out. You will not win a shout out if the card is revealed, okay? You're not going to get it, trust me. As for the last card, going once, going twice. It's not the last card, but you get the idea. All right, we're going to show it right here. Come on, guys, look at that. Look at that. That's the card. Okay, it is a blue card. Uh, Serenia bit effect or a ferret, whatever. I don't know. Um, uh, it's uh, three mana, one blue, two colorless. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, uh, deals one damage to you. This card, of course, this card deals one damage to you. Not really that valuable. And as for the Uncommon, we've got ourselves this. The Mamba. River Boa. River Boa. Alrighty then. Holy shit snacks. We just hit the valuable box, guys. I cannot believe we just pulled a Mana Crypt to Fairy's Protection. Guys. Oh! Oh! Okay, guys, check it out. Corpse Jack Menace. Everybody knows about this card. All right, guys, that'll be it for this video for now. Um, it'll be a while before I end up getting another box, unlike this guy. All right, this is the first time with my taxes I was able to get a box, okay? I got a box with my taxes, guys. I if I could open up another one. Oh my God. But Jimmy, Jimmy, we want more. We want more. Well, guys, if you want more content like this, you've got to start commenting down below on my channel. If you want more content like this, I'd be so glad to give you guys the content. Just please comment down below. All right? All right? I'm going to put this all in sleeves. You watch me as I put them in sleeves, okay? All right, we're going to put these all in sleeves. We're putting all the rares and foils and sleeves, okay, guys? Because we noticed that the market is dropping, all right? Drastically dropping. And half these cards are not going to be of value anymore. 
it's amazing. I was able to pull half the value out of that. And, um, I mean, this is the first time in a very long time I was able to actually do this, okay? Half these cards I all. I'm not able to all these cards I'm trying to get my hands on. Like, there's a few cards that I've been trying to get my hands on for some time. Like, uh, Teferi's Protection. Holy crap, guys. Like, that's a valuable card. Coming from a Commander Precon deck from, uh, 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 Sir, what's his name? I want to say Edgar Markov. Edgar Markov, guys! Daddy Soren. Edgar Markov. Now, I did make a list of cards that I wanted to see myself get. But, seeing as I only got a few of them, I'm going to go ahead and cross those cards off. Helix. Uh... The Helix is, like, I, I, I can't imagine something like that getting out of hand. I don't think anybody wants that to get out of hand because they win the game. It's like an instant win. What were you thinking? I want to win the game, Papa. Well, Jimmy, I'm sorry, but you can't win. It's not that easy. Like, God dang it, Bobby. I don't want you to win. Not yet. Don't don't win. Not yet. Uh, I guarantee you this sort of or eminist is actually going for a pretty penny. I'm not sure, but hey. And here we go. We got a very expensive, not a very expensive card, but we got one of the elementals. Oh, this card can get out of hand pretty quick if you play it right. Protection from white and from black. Whenever uh, you cast a creature spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter on this card, of course. Creature spells you cast cost one less to cast for each 1-1 one, one counter on this card. Oh my god. This would help in an aggro, uh, competitive aggro deck. Like, elemental aggro. And I know who to give that card to. Not anyone on here. Sorry, guys. It's someone had a uh, few friends of mine that I'm willing to take these to. Some of these cards I'm going to keep. Not all of them. Now as for the foils. I like foil cards, guys. We got very few foils, so... I'm going to put these on sleeves, and this video is it. Uh, again, guys, if you like this video, you want more content like this, please, guys, please leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button, and you get more content like this. Um, in the near future, it's not... Uh, it won't get you nowhere if you don't. So, as soon as I'm done here. I'm going to go on Skype and play one of my buddies. Because he probably wants to play Magic on Skype. Um, for those that play hard paper copy cards... Uh, I would strongly suggest to go to um, TCG Player because as of this BS that's happening, uh, you guys won't be able to go into stores and buy cards. I recommend going to TCG Player, guys. Uh, I can't really leave a comment down below for that or I'll leave a description. I can't. I have no way of doing it because I'm doing this from my phone. YouTube. This is for you, you make it a whole lot for us to edit our videos on. Easy. Okay, you're not. 
my video is probably going to get demonetized, so I don't really care. Uh, YouTube can uh, come at me all they want, but they're not going to get a single dime from me. I'm on disability, guys. They're not going to get nothing from me. I like to fo uh, sleeve up my foils because my foils are like really nice and I keep them that way. I don't care how undervalued these cards are used because like leave them. But I did pull a fetch land guys. That's amazing how I would pull such a thing. Search for a forest or a uh, 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 plants is what it says. But does it tap for that actually? That's a clue question here. No! Okay, so what's really cool about this is that I can add this into any deck I want as long as I'm searching for a forest. And Mildratha has forests, so I need that. People always ask, why would you sleeve up your foils? What's the point? Because I like them to look nice. Okay, I want to make them look nice. I don't like them to lose their value. Even though they're dirt cheap, you can price eventually down the road. All right, guys, out of all those, Rink is the most valuable sides. Various protection and mana crypt, guys. I'd like to know. Hey, Andy. Okay, pulled a lot of value in this set. And that'll be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you like it.